Fox News alert, explosive new evidence that the Biden family was taking bribes from corrupt foreign nationals while Joe Biden was vice president. Here's House Oversight Chairman James Comer. The committee is concerned by the complicated, suspicious network of over 20 companies. We have identified the Bidens and their associates used to enrich themselves. Most of these companies were limited liability companies formed during Joe Biden's vice presidency. The bank records show the Biden family, their associates, and their companies received over $10 million from foreign nationals. $10 million to the Biden family, and nobody can tell us what the Biden family business is. No one. And 20 different shell companies. That sounds legit. And it wasn't just money from China or Ukraine. Money was coming in from everywhere. While Vice President Biden was lecturing Romania on anti-corruption policies, in reality, he was a walking billboard for his son and family to collect money. The Bidens received over $1 million for the deal. And 16 of the 17 payments to their associate's account that funneled the Bidens' money occurred while Joe Biden was vice president. In fact, the money stops flowing from the Romanian national soon after Joe Biden leaves the vice presidency. Kind of like the Clinton Foundation, the money just stops flowing. And she's not going to be in charge. So corrupt foreigners were funneling millions into the Biden family while Joe Biden was lecturing them about foreign corruption. What a racket. Fly to a corrupt country, tell them to clean up their act, and then everybody who's corrupt sends the Bidens money for protection. That's how it works. All these corrupt countries have dirt on the Bidens. The whole world now has the United States by the Bidens. So when Joe says he takes orders as president, it makes sense. But setting up 20 shady shell companies to launder foreign cash to, and then spreading it out to your entire fam in order to hide it from the IRS, that's called money laundering. It's called tax evasion. It's called corruption. And this oversight committee is full of bankers, and bankers kind of know fraud when they see it. Cycling through this many companies serves no legitimate purpose. And as somebody who actually worked in banking, I did that long before I came here. Whenever there was like this many companies just laying all over the place and you see wire transfers and cashier checks over here going to random members of the family for no apparent purpose at the size and velocity at which all of this was being conducted, the only logical conclusion of a financial professional is you are concealing money. So Mr. Pay Your Face Share's family has been hiding money from the IRS for a decade. But the Bidens are a big family. They have lots of bills to pay. And nobody wants to work. So it's not just Biden's two brothers, four fingers in the chin, or his dirty son, Hunter. Foreign nationals pouring money into Joe Biden's extended family. Joe Biden's brother's wife, Hunter Biden's girlfriend or Beau Biden's widow, Hunter Biden's ex-wife, Hunter Biden's current wife, and three children of the president's son and the president's brother. So we're talking about grandchild, a grandchild. That's odd. Yeah, that is odd. Why is a Romanian real estate tycoon paying Joe Biden's granddaughter? Did she draw him a picture? Why are the Chinese spies paying Biden's grandchildren's college tuition? And it's not only the Chinese, the former FBI director, Louis Free is getting paid by the same corrupt Romanian tycoon and freeze paying for Joe Biden's grandkids' college tuition, too. 100000 bucks. So the former FBI director is paying off the Bidens, and the current FBI director is covering up for the Bidens. And the last five CIA directors are helping the Bidens win elections. So the feds have Joe by the Bidens. He's a mark, and he does what he's told, obviously. James Comer has only gotten records from, you ready, four banks. And he says there's a total of 12 banks. So we're really just getting started on the Biden bribe scandal. Only four banks so far, and we've already gotten $10 million in bribes, 170 suspicious wire transfers flagged by Treasury, with nine Bidens later. And no one can show us what the Biden business is. There's no website. There's no building. There's no products. There's no business. It's all bribes. All of them are bribes. Hunter tells us it's just good faith seed money. 
but he doesn't say what the seed money's for. Can it even get more obvious than this? One thing everybody in this room and the American people definitely know is that the Biden family doesn't really have a business. There is no business structure around this family except politics. And the family's getting money from various countries and foreign businesses through various shell companies and this web of LLCs. I mean, guys, you in the press, this is easy pickings. I'm giving you Pulitzer stuff here. Like, all you have to do is literally look at our memo. Remember when the press actually cared about quid pro quos? Remember when the press cared when a president was corrupt or when foreigners were interfering in our elections? During Watergate, all we heard was follow the money. And now when the money's right out there, no one wants to follow it, do they? MSNBC and CNN didn't even take today's presser. Didn't take it. C-SPAN didn't take it. I mean, C-SPAN. And they have like C-SPAN 1, 2, and 3. Didn't take it. The White House press corps didn't even ask Binder about Comer's presser today. This is a massive cover-up that extends across the entire media landscape. And this is what the media is saying today, if they're saying anything at all. Listen. James Comer is using this to try to further his argument that he's trying to make that there are members of the Biden family who enriched themselves on the family name uh, and that somehow the current president was involved, even though he hasn't offered proof of that. What this means for Hunter Biden mm -hmm. may be something very different than what it means to, for Joe Biden. I should be very clear. None of the evidence in this report shows that any of these payments were illegal. They also don't have any evidence that any of these payments were made directly to Joe Biden. OK, so the media has gone from the laptops fake to the Bidens never took money from China to the Bidens never took money while Joe was vice president to, yes, the whole Biden family took foreign bribes while Joe was VP, but none of the cash hit Joe Biden's checking account. <laughs> so the argument is this, corrupt foreign nationals can bribe politicians' families. The families can hide it from the IRS, but as long as the politician doesn't physically take the bribe, it's kosher. That's it. And that's why Biden's the chairman, remember? The big guy. That's the whole point. It doesn't have to hit his bank account. His entire family gets bribed because of him. They're saying Biden's in charge of American policy in Romania, and Romanians start bribing Biden's family, and Joe Biden has nothing to do with the Biden family. <laughs> and then they say Comer never showed that Biden did anything in exchange for the bribes. Yeah. So. What is family got bribed? You, you can't prove he did these countries any favors? Of course you can. Not only did Biden fire the prosecutor in Ukraine, not only did Biden leave a Russian off the sanction list who bribed the Biden family, but the Biden family rakes in millions in Chinese bribes, and the minute Joe Biden goes into office, he cancels the FBI China task force, and then he covers up the Chinese lab leak, and then he lets a Chinese balloon fly across the country. The media can't connect those dots. And then they say, well, Comer didn't prove Biden knew anything about any of this. Yeah, he did. You got sworn eyewitness testimony from Tony B that Biden ran the deal. You have documentary evidence that Joe Biden was lined up for kickbacks. You have Joe Biden on voicemail. You have Joe Biden in photographs meeting with Hunter's business partners. If there was no influence peddling, what was Hunter doing meeting with Hunter's, with Joe Biden's State Department, with the Energy Department, with Joe Biden's chief of staff? What was Hunter doing meeting with his dad on the day he gets back from Romania? Joe Biden flew Hunter and his business partner on Air Force Two to China. You mean Joe Biden never asked who was sitting next to Hunter on Air Force Two? <laughs> Just some random dude coming to China on Air Force Two? Hey, how do you know my son? <laughs> Here's a question the media could ask Joe Biden. What's Hunter Biden's job? What is it? I bet he couldn't explain it. Joe talks to Hunter every day, they say. And Joe Biden has no idea what his son does for money? That never came up in 20 years? Oh, plus Hunter says half his salary was going to Joe. That's in a text message. And then we have bank records showing the money going to the family. So what do you think the media asked today at the press conference? You're not going to believe it. They asked about Trump. So Trump is running for president again. Uh, he has, uh, him and his family have benefited while he was in office, since he's in office, from a number of countries, 
are you investigating those business dealings as well? I'm not saying whether I agreed with what he did or not, but I actually know what his businesses are. What are the Biden businesses? That's the question. What business? I mean, Comer just laid out the biggest political bribery scandal in American history that has national security consequences. And the media says, well, what about Trump? And have you ever wondered why everybody Hunter's in business with is in prison? Both of his business partners in prison, his Chinese partner in prison, his other Chinese business partner just disappeared. His Romanian business partner in prison, his Ukrainian business guy, prison. Everybody the Bidens are in business with is in prison. And the media thinks it's a coincidence. And they think Trump's the only one who should be in prison. Now, here's the dirty little secret. The Biden family is untouchable because the Biden family is the system. This is the system. Politicians, family members get bribed all the time, whether it's with foreign cash or board seats or no-show jobs or lobbying fees, stock tips. And we're looking at you, Pauly Pay. The FBI is in on it. The CIA is in on it. This is how the system works. So you can't put the system in prison. But what the House Republicans need to do is they need to indict the system. They need to put the system on trial and make Joe Biden the lead defendant. And now we've entered impeachment territory. Let's turn it over to Brett Tolman. He's a former U.S. attorney who specializes in financial crimes. So this is new information that we learned today about foreign dirty cash going to the Biden family as Joe Biden was vice president and deal making with the countries that were sending his family the money. What does that tell you? Jesse, the very first thing I thought of was how disgusting it is that it's not the Department of Justice with all of their financial investigators who, and all of their power of subpoena that they're actually not the ones leading this investigation. It should, it, it, it should bother everyone in the country. But you nailed it because you're right. They're untouchables at this point and they've acted like it. When I look at, coincidentally, the very last case I worked on, Jesse, there were dozens and dozens of LLCs and we could not define what the underlying business was. We just saw movement of money. That's money laundering, that's corruption, but it's not just uh, you know, a crime family that's corrupt. This is a syndicate at this point involving everyone around them. Is the Department of Justice and the FBI forced to take action at this point? There was news earlier that the FBI didn't comply with Comer's subpoena to hand over this document that should should prove Joe Biden was in on this whole thing. They're not cooperating. Do you expect that to change? I do expect it to change. I think the pressure is going to be significant. The reason they stated, too, doesn't make any sense, Jesse. They stated that it's because it came from a confidential human source, so we have to keep it confidential. Well, guess what? They have the ability to go into a confidential skiff and show the document if they want to members of Congress. They do it all the time. If it's so sensitive, they would also be investigating it. We have no indication they're investigating it. And like you outlined, from 2008, when Hunter Biden was at a law firm lobbying his dad as a senator, you know when he changed and, and blew up his ability to make millions of dollars? When Joe Biden became vice president because then it became more difficult. And that's why they had to create that's all correct. of the LLCs. It's all, it all makes sense. That's right. it, it, it all makes sense if you know this much about financial shenanigans, but apparently the media doesn't get it. Brett, thank you so much. We really appreciate your expertise.